Okay, so right now we know that Quavo's affiliation with Mob Ties and J Prince is what got, you know, Takeoff killed and allegedly right now that is what's getting Takeoff a lot of disrespect even after he died, right? And sacrificed his life for Quavo to be alive. You get what I'm saying? But before we get into it, do me a favor, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, you know, turn on the notification bell so you'll be the first to get notified whenever I drop a new video. And remember, this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only, so everything remains allegedly. You get what I'm saying? So let's get straight into this. We have Quavo, right? And you know, Offset is not happy with Quavo. He has not been happy with Quavo, right? Um, because of what happened to Takeoff. Not only that, Offset got more mad after Jepren posted a picture with QCP, right? And um, he posted a picture congratulating QCP um, about a business they did together or stuff like that. So I want y'all to understand this. Riston, understand this really good. The picture might be old. You get what I'm saying? The picture might be old. The picture was taken in 2021, but even though the picture is old, what about the caption? Because no one is talking about that. The picture might be old, but the caption might not be old. This is a caption that J Prince wrote congratulating QCP and the other guy for doing business together and stuff like that. The caption is not old. That means in one way or the other, allegedly, J Prince and QCP still got business going on. And we forgot to talk about that because, you know, we are so quick to talk about the picture, but we are not so quick to think really deep to really understand what the caption is talking about because i'm gonna take a picture with you five years ago and today is your birthday i'm gonna post the picture and wish you happy birthday because that's the only picture i have with you that i snapped now the picture is old of you know of us we snapped five years ago but the caption is not old because you know the caption is talking about what's happening recently which is crazy and that's why i've said is you know snapping on quavo for his affiliation with Mob Ties and J Prince Senior. Because this affiliation, this relationship have caused a lot of, you know, heartbreak for the world, right? It have caused a lot of heartbreak for the family of Takeoff and all them. Because because of the relationship that Quavo has with J Prince and Mob Ties, he decided to honor their invitation and go to Houston in the first place. The relationship made him to go to Houston and honor their invitation. You get what I'm saying? Because if not because of his affiliation with them, he wouldn't have been there. And even though he was there, he would have gone there with his securities and you know he would have been paid to be there. But he wasn't paid allegedly. You get what I'm saying? Because just imagine inviting Quavo and Takeoff. You know, inviting the Migos to come to your event, to your private event. You know how much you'll be paying these niggas? Man, you'll be paying them some good money. But they, were, they weren't paid. And not only that, allegedly, they also checked in. You know what that means, allegedly? He checked in, take off checked in means they are the one that paid J Prince and Moptars to check in. Even without getting paid. And Quavo still went on playing the ass game and still lost seven thousand us dollars and they he also lost money so you see that this affiliation is really crazy that's why offset is not happy with quavo for his affiliation offset loves quavo trust me he loves quavo because even after quavo you know went into altercation with him at the grammys refusing him not to perform the tribute you know take off uh sorry offset was still you know defending quavo right he was still defending quavo he was like you know that's my brother i can't fight with him and stuff like that so that will make you understand that offset is not a problem but quavo's affiliation with j prince senior and mob is actually the problem which is really crazy
You get what I'm saying? Because we really need to think about this, man. But if you are new to the channel, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. You get what I'm saying? Everyone, make sure that you like the video and share your opinions in the comment section. Remember, everything remains allegedly because this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. But let's keep on going on this, man. Okay, so, Quavo, because of your affiliation with Moftars and J-Prince, you decided not to speak. Hmm, that is so hard, man. He decided not to speak because of his affiliation with Moftars, because of his affiliation with the Prince family, right? He decided not to speak, even though he lost his own, you know, I call it brother, right? Because this, I know that take off his Quavo's nephew and stuff like that, but you know how guys behave, right? Even when you have friends in the street, you know, just your friends that you are not related with, you know, you still call them brothers because, you know, that's what we call ourselves then. When it comes to Quavo and take off, you know, that's brotherhood. You get what I'm saying? That's brotherhood. So, he decided not to speak even though he lost his brother. Because, remember, you know, Takeoff is, is one of the strongest reasons why we had the Migos. Takeoff created the Migos. He created the Migos. He gave us Migos, right? He created the sound. He gave us the sound. Takeoff was so talented that, you know, even Quavo and Offset, cannot stop talking about his talent and his uniqueness and his contribution making the Migos to be a reality. Man. So, you know, that's why Offset can never be happy with Quavo. You know, he can be happy with Quavo because no matter what Quavo do right now, the only thing that he can do right is to go out there and get justice for takeoff. That's the only thing that he can do right. Because if he can do that, forget about it. No matter what he say, we are not interested. Trust me, we are not interested in anything that he got to say. Because none of it is going to make sense. None of what he's going to say is really going to make sense. Trust me, none. None of it is going to make sense. So, you know, a big shout out to Offset for standing up for sake of because that's the only person we know right now that is standing up for takeoff right even though that you know takeoff died when he was not around because i think if offset was present the day takeoff lost his life takeoff would have still been alive trust me offset is, is a real street ninja right he would have played it the street way he wouldn't have even gone to gone to houston without getting his securities to go with him because remember he's a father man and he's a husband so he have to stay alive and go back to his family get what i'm saying so he really knows how to play he knows how to play so rest in peace to take off and you know justice for take off you all go into the comment section and write justice for take off because that must be justice for take off you get what i'm saying but remember everything said in the video still remains allegedly get what i'm saying but justice for take off man and rest in peace to take off condolences to his family to his mother especially you know it's not easy to lose a son trust me but losing a son and not getting justice for the son is more head you get what i'm saying but we are going to leave it at that stage you get what i'm saying so our condolences to the family man okay i'm gonna catch you guys on the next clip see you guys later